This code is used to import libraries and modules that allow us to work with data in the Python programming language. The first three lines import the pandas, numpy, and matplotlib modules, which are like big toolboxes that have lots of tools for working with data. The last line specifies that we want to use the inline mode of the matplotlib module, which means that any plots we create will appear directly in the same page, rather than in a separate window. These libraries and modules are like special helpers that we can use to do different tasks with data. They make it easier for us to analyze and visualize data in a clear and organized way. With these tools, we can take a lot of numbers and information and make them into graphs and charts that we can understand and interpret. Overall, this code helps us to get ready to work with data and make it into something that we can look at and make sense of. This Python code is designed to read data from a file that is in the .csv, comma, separated values, format. It does this by taking in a specific file name, which tells the code where to look for the data. Once it has the data, the code organizes it into a table-like structure called a data frame. Each row in this table represents a different data point, and each column represents a different category of data. This code also makes sure that the columns are organized in a specific way. The first level of columns represents the different stock exchanges where the data was collected from. The second level of columns indicates the type of market data, such as the current bid and ask prices for a stock or the volume of shares being traded. After organizing the data, the code returns the data frame which can then be used for further analysis or visualizations. This code is used to read data from a file named hwg.csv and store it in a variable called market underscore data. It uses a function called read underscore data to do this. Think of a file as being like a notebook where information is written down. The code is like asking a person to open a notebook named hwg.csv and read the information written inside. Then the information is saved in a special place, a variable, called market underscore data where we can use it later in the code. This Python code takes a list of data from a website called one patch code and stores it in a variable called market underscore data this data can include information about things like prices sales or trends then the code shows only the first few items in the list making it easier for us to read and understand it's like looking at the first few pages of a book instead of the whole thing at once This code is a function that plots the bid price of two stocks, IXCHNG and ZXCHNG, against each other. It first takes 250 rows of market data and stores it in a variable called market underscore data underscore 250. Then, it creates a figure with a specific size of 16 by 10. Next, the function named plot underscore bid underscore ask is defined and within this function, it plots the bid price of stock 1 and the ask price of stock 2 over the 250 rows of market data. The x-axis is set to display only the indices, which are the date and time of the market data. The labels for the x and y axes are also set as time and price respectively. Additionally, a title is given to the plot, displaying the names of the two stocks being compared. Finally, a legend is added to indicate which line represents which stock and the plot is displayed. Overall, this code helps someone visualize and compare the bid price of one stock and the ask price of another stock.
This code is manipulating some data related to bids and ask prices in the stock market. It creates two new columns in a table called market underscore data. I bid ZIAS spread and Z bid I ask spread. These columns will contain values calculated by subtracting the bid price from one exchange called IXCHNG from the ask price of another exchange called CXCHNG. This is done in order to compare the difference in prices between the two exchanges. The code then displays the first few rows of this updated table. This code selects certain data from a larger dataset and puts it into a new smaller dataset. The new dataset only includes information about specific financial transactions called arbitrages, where the difference between prices for buying and selling a certain type of asset in different markets is greater than zero. It then takes the first few rows of this new dataset and displays them. This code is used to track the positions of two trading platforms, labeled IXCHNG and ZXCHNG. The code creates an empty list to store the timestamps, and two empty lists to store the positions of each trading platform. The code then goes through a set of market data, looking at the spread, the difference between the buying and selling prices, for a specific trading pair. If the spread for the pair labeled IBIDZ ask spread is greater than zero, it will check to see if there is enough available volume, the quantity of an asset that can be bought or sold, to buy or sell at those prices. It will then update the current position, or number of assets currently owned, by subtracting the bought amount from the current position if buying or adding the bought amount is selling. On the other hand, if the spread for the pair labeled ZBID I ask spread is greater than zero, it will do the same as before, but with the trading pair in reverse order. The code then adds the timestamp and updated positions to the list, and repeats this process until there is no more market data to analyze. Finally, the code arranges the list into a table, with the timestamps as the rows and the position updates as the columns. This table shows the changes in positions for the two trading platforms over time.